Cheap speakers aren't usually known for having good sound quality or good build quality for that matter. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at a 5.1 system that might just break the mold. This is the Emotiva Air Motive series. And in this video, we're gonna be putting these speakers through their paces to see just how much performance Emotiva can bring to the table. So if you're in the market for a 5.1 system from one of the best known brands in home audio and home theater, then stick around and we'll get into it right after the intro. All right, so for those of you that aren't familiar, Emotiva actually offers a complete line of home theater speakers called the Airmotive series. This line of tower speakers, bookshelf speakers, center channels, subwoofers, and even Atmos height speakers is meant to offer some of the best bang for your buck, whether you're watching movies or just listening to music. For this review, Emotiva was kind enough to send us the Airmotive T1 Plus towers for the front left and right channels, a C1 Plus center channel, a pair of B1 Plus bookshelves for the surrounds, and last but not least, a couple different subwoofers. The entry-level SE12 Flex subwoofer, as well as our high-end RS11 reference subwoofer. And of course, we'll be swapping both of these in and out and talking about the differences that these two subs offer. And because Emotiva sent us their Base X A5 amplifier, We'll be using it to power the entire system later on when we get into our listening tests. And I also want to quickly mention that we've already done a complete review of the Base X A5. And if you want to check it out, we'll leave a link down in the description, as well as a card at the end of this video. But before we go any further, let's quickly go over the specs of each speaker that we have. Starting off with the Airmotive T1 Plus towers, which again are for the front left and right channels, these speakers are a three-way design with Emotiva's own 32 millimeter folded ribbon tweeter, a five and a quarter inch woven fiber mid-range with a metal phase plug and dual six inch bass drivers. All of these speakers are mounted in a heavily braced custom CNC mill cabinet, which is actually made out of high density fiberboard. This is pretty amazing for a pair of speakers coming in at this price. Most speakers in this category would more commonly be built with something like 3 quarter inch MDF for the entire cabinet, including the front baffle. The T1 Plus towers make use of HDF for every part of the cabinet, and the front baffle where the drivers themselves are mounted is actually made from 1 inch thick HDF. Covering the majority of each cabinet is this synthetic vinyl finish, which actually looks pretty good and almost makes the speaker look like it's wrapped in leather. On the front, you also get a nice looking satin black lacquer finish, which is great in a home theater environment where you want to have as few reflections as possible. Around the back, you also get a really nice set of five-way binding posts, and it's honestly unbelievable that Emotiva is able to offer a speaker at this price point that can be both bi-amped or bi-wired. Below that, Emotiva also included a very large rear firing port to help with bass output. It seems like Emotiva put their money where it matters when they were designing the speaker, and that's one thing that I need to clarify here. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned that these speakers are cheap, but I think it's pretty obvious now that I was referring to the price and not the build quality. And where this build quality is even more important is in the center channel speaker. One thing that you might not realize is that from the moment a movie starts to the very end credits, there's going to be some amount of information making its way through the center channel. Because of this, it's very important to have a great sounding, high quality speaker to accurately reproduce everything from vocals to sound effects in a surround sound track. Thankfully, the Airmotive C1 Plus center channel checks all of these boxes with its matching folded ribbon tweeter, 3 inch woven mid range with a small aluminum phase plug and dual 5 and a quarter inch woofers. You also get the same 5 way binding posts that we saw on the T1 Plus towers and the only difference here is that the C1 Plus is a sealed box design. So you don't have to worry about any ports interfering with the placement of your center channel. For surround duty we have the B1 Plus bookshelf speakers and the story here is pretty much the same a five and a quarter inch woven fiber woofer, Emotiva's 32 millimeter folded ribbon tweeter, and the same general build quality all around. 
Now it's also important to note here that the B1 Plus bookshelves are rear ported and unlike the bigger speakers only have one set of binding posts so you can't buy amp them or buy wire them but for a little bookshelf speaker like this it's really not a concern. Now as we mentioned we're going to be trying this system out with two different subs and because we plan on making full reviews of each we're just going to quickly go over the main specs of both units. First is Emotiva's entry-level SE12, which as you can probably guess has a 12-inch driver. This is a single passive radiator design with the main driver firing down and the passive radiator firing out the front to offer better efficiency. The SE12 comes packed with a 200 watt RMS Class D amplifier capable of pushing up to 400 watts max. And all of that is built into a heavily braced MDF cabinet. And it's completely understandable that at the $400 price point, Emotiva decided to use MDF rather than HDF. And as we mentioned before, this is what most subs at this price point are made out of. Moving on to Emotiva's reference line, the RS11 gives you a front firing 11 inch high excursion driver, 500 watts of RMS power and a 1000 watt peak, and a flat frequency response down to 20 hertz, according to Emotiva. Like the other Airmotive speakers, the RS11 has a very high quality HDF cabinet so cabinet resonance shouldn't be an issue. Again, we don't want to get too deep into the specs because we'll be doing a full review of this sub, so definitely keep an eye out for that. With the specs out of the way, it's time to actually start testing out the Emotiva Airmotive speakers to see just how well they perform. To kick things off, we'll be running all of these speakers in our dedicated, acoustically treated home theater room and each speaker is going to be paired with the Emotiva Bass X A5. After listening to the system for the past few weeks, one thing that we really enjoyed about the sound is just how smooth and detailed the ribbon tweeters are. These tweeters did a beautiful job at creating an open and airy sound that revealed every single detail in the soundtrack. The center channel, which we feel is the most important speaker in the home theater setup, did an exceptional job with dialogue and filled the room with a very wide and spacious sound that was always easy to understand from every listening position. We also wanted to mention that we tried the system without any subwoofers and the T1 Plus towers did a great job running in full range mode. But of course, to get the full impact of most movie soundtracks, you want to use a sub. So that's exactly what we did. First, we added in the entry level SE12, which did a great job supplementing the bass down to levels that the towers just weren't capable of. At $400, this sub is highly recommended over just running your system in full range mode. The nice thing about the SE12 is that you actually get extra output because of its passive radiator design. If you're not familiar with passive radiators, they kind of fall between a ported and a sealed sub. So you get a little tire bass output, similar to that of a sealed sub, with more output like you get from a ported sub. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. Next, we threw in the big boy RS11 reference sub, and this is when the low frequencies really went to the next level. The bass was tight and impactful, and the RS11 gave us a very substantial increase in output over the SE12, while retaining an amazing amount of control and articulation. Now, of course, you would expect this from a sub that comes in well over $800 over the SE12, but in our opinion, this massive increase in performance does justify the increase in cost. But again, that's going to boil down to your budget and what's most important to you. And as we mentioned earlier, we're going to be doing a full review of both of these subs, so make sure you stay tuned for those. After being very impressed with the way these speakers sounded in our main theater room, we decided to see how they perform in a more common room that most people would be likely to put these speakers in. So we moved everything down to our living room, which has less than ideal acoustics thanks to its open concept design. In both environments, this entire system came together to create a very good movie watching experience, which for the price is pretty amazing. The bass surround sound speakers come in at about $1,100, and from that point, all you need is a subwoofer, an AVR, or an amplifier like the Bass XA5, which has been a perfect match for these speakers in our testing. 
We think that these prices are actually very reasonable for a complete five channel surround sound system, especially from a name brand like Emotiva. Considering their build quality, sound quality, and overall value, we can highly recommend all of these Emotiva Air Motive speakers that we've reviewed so far. If you're in the market for an affordable 5.1 system with large tower speakers, good looks, and amazing build quality, designed by one of the best known names in home theater, then you should definitely put the Emotiva Air Motive series at the top of your shortlist. And with that said, I think it's time to wrap up this video. Again, I want to give a huge thanks to Emotiva for sending over their Air Motive series speakers, and we really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about these speakers and any other products that Emotiva offers, like their excellent line of amplifiers, processors, and more, then make sure to check out the link in the video description so you don't miss out. If you want to chat about home theater, technology, and a lot of other stuff with us and other members of the community, then go ahead and check out our Discord server, and again, we'll leave a link down in the description. If you have any questions or comments on the Emotiva Air Motive series speakers, please let us know down in the comments below. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future content. And as always, have an awesome day.